we leave Manawar Key for our next destination, Little Harbor. But first we stop at Boat Harbor Marina near Marsh Harbor to pick up guests Grace and Steve and get groceries and fuel. Then it's on to Leonard Key, taking care to avoid the shoals and sandbars. We wait for high tide to navigate the narrow and shallow inlet to Little Harbor. This scenic harbor offers good holding and is very protected from wind and seas. Mooring balls are available in the harbor as well and we make landfall at the dinghy dock. Little Harbor is about 30 miles south of Marsh Harbor on Great Abaco at the end of the Great Abaco Highway. Private residences and cottages and the Abaco Yacht Club are located on Little Harbor, all with a picturesque view of the water. Oh my God, the shorts say hotcakes. I need those. <laughs> Pete's Pub is an open-air watering hole designed from the deck house of the original settler schooner. The Johnson family settled in Great Harbor in the 1950s and Randolph, the family patriarch, created the bronze foundry, which is still in use today. No, this is probably good. The original settlers lived in a huge cave at the southwest side of the harbor as they developed Little Harbor into their home. I say worth a little boat ride. Totally. The Bite of Old Robinson is just west of Little Harbor and is best explored by dinghy. In a crescent-like pattern lie a curve of rocks and caves, among which are located numerous blue holes loaded with marine life such as grouper and lobster. We're getting in. One, two, three. To the lobster.
Yeah, good job, you so Yeah. The next day we leave Harbor, Little Harbor at high tide and stop by nearby Leonard Key again, only two nautical miles away. Clear water, good holding, and protection from the north to the southeast winds and lovely trails lead to the Atlantic Ocean, making this a popular anchorage for cruisers.